Ugh, my throat. village that lay dotted on the outside of the seven people castle that lies wedged up against the side of the hill and protected by a half curtain of wall. Swarthy sergeant at arms bows to greet you with a local contingent of guardsmen. You make your way down the main road to the keep. And many avert their gaze. A few of the shop homes seem to be occupied and the forge in particular seems to be run by a dwarf who stands on the threshold and simply marks your passing with mute indifference. Dismounting once within the walls, you're greeted with a delegation, a steward welcoming you to the border town of Ledford. A dour-looking and pallid man with jet black hair stands at one side of the steward and on the other looking an elf scribe whose dark red eyes only meet yours for a moment but otherwise seem already thoroughly bored with the proceedings at hand. Being escorted upstairs, it's all handshakes and smiles as it always was. You were never a diplomat, Sir Quill. But King Linnell sent you. And moreover, it presented an opportunity for young young hearts to learn a little bit about statecraft and foreign relations. After a generally fruitful round of negotiations with the state of Arrowhead, you take your son to walk the streets of Ledford, confident that you've secured the cooperation between King Aelith Harwin's lord and those of Gilan for another few years. Leisurely strolling down one of the roads with your son at your side and the future now feeling secured, you can't help but feel you can relax now, at least for a little while. Your thoughts drift to home, a dutiful wife awaiting, and a brace of daughters that will soon be of age to marry again. But rounding the corner past the tavern, something catches your eye. It shouldn't, but it does. An emaciated drow boy in rags, his eyes wandering and bloodshot, his otherwise dark skin. That's me! <clears throat> he looks up at you only for a moment, but his bleary gaze locks with yours. And the familiarity strikes you, it sends a cold chill through your skin on the otherwise beautiful spring day. On this beautiful spring day, in a world bereft of empires and emperors, in this world bereft of desperate struggles and decades of vengeance, in this world where no sun ever rose on any eternal day, the drow's mouth moves, but the voice comes from your son beside you. Father? And the dream fades.
door closes on the bedroom and the dream and what memory remains of it slowly swirls and fades into nothing but a forgotten memory for many like the kingdom of yiwen something that is slowly becoming the product of history books legends and tales but the world you wake up in is the one you've come to know constant and persistent it remains despite all delusion. It remains despite any dream. There is another dream, of course, you know. The one in the future, not in the past. The one you have to make for yourself. And that's the one that Arnulf Earnhardt wakes up to make today. Sharik, you awake? Uh, downstairs. <clears throat> Morning. Morning. You slept in this Are time. Not yet, no. I did. Everything okay? I, uh, yeah, everything's fine. Hmm. Lost in thought, I suppose. I get that. Um, plans for today? I have an errand to run first thing in the morning. Okay. I'm going to be heading to Belair now. Nothing to be worried about, work only. I will be back in less than 30 minutes, 40. Okay. I'm going to do your final horse riding lesson, so make sure you're ready. Alright, I'll mentally prepare myself. <clears throat> Good. As for our uh, morning, you two. For a how to deal with the orcs, I'll have to wait a little bit. Good day to you, lad. <coughs> It'll be um. <coughs>
throw the weights down into the sand, latch them to your legs, take a stretch, take off your shirt, prepare your body and your mind for the exercise to come. Body and mind, only one other thing, the soul. They all follow together one way or the other, and they all have to train together. Taking a stop by the usual spot, you take a look out. Your chest burning, but not quite as much as usual. Your legs feel warm, circulating, vital. The exercise works the body, clears the mind. Slowing to a jog and then finally to a walk, holding your hands over your head, 
to regain your breath. The exercise works the body, clears the mind, <sighs> sharpens the soul. It's always the little times, simple times, doing the most mundane of activities in the small hours. You see yourself on that same battlefield, an army before you. They lash out at Imperial troops with a vengeance like you have witnessed never before. An ocean of bodies stretches before you, farther and farther and farther, beyond and beyond and beyond. Find yourself wading through a veritable ocean of blood. The banner of the griffin is stained with this blood. The bloody beak, flesh torn and hanging in its claws. The imperial city lies in ruins. Nothing but corpses now. The tide of vengeance stretches ever further. Call out for it to stop. <clears throat> it does not stop. Tide of vengeance washes over the shore like the ocean lapping waves at the sands. And you're here on the beach at Nautis, the water lapping against the shore. Exercise works the body, clears the mind, but what of the soul? You, sir. Is anybody around watching? Don't. Uh, hello there, Miss Cassidy. <laughs> hello there. Well, uh, what do we... Um, oh, wow. Well, Imperials uh, back in the streets with their god god. Walking through the market, the feeling lingers just a little bit. Like the tide is louder than before, even though it's farther away along the dockside. Sounds of people walking through the market, crosstalk, peasants, little gossip little lives and rumors. You wheel the bucket up, douse it over yourself, and in a cold burst of water, it's gone. Blacksmith Apprentice. This one. How can I help? Really. Yeah. A few questions for you, if you, you don't uh... mind. Sure. Please, if you're going to Have talk... Have you made any, uh... Crossbow bolt tips recently? Uh, actually, no, not in a while. <clears throat> Why? 
We're looking for a, a suspicious figure in all black with crossbows. Oh. Have you sold Covering anything like that to anybody recently? <laughs> no, I wouldn't sell to suspicious figures like that. Is that because of the attack on the Baron? No. Hmm. There was an attack on the embassy. Ah. I wasn't aware. Thank you for your time. Sorry, I couldn't help. I'll come and find you if you. something pops up. Please do. Yes. did you do? You and... There you are. <laughs> All right. Always a pleasure, Miss Cassidy. Keep up the good work. Keep up the flow. <laughs> Mr. Dredge. Drawing knives, I assume. <clears throat> you doing okay? I'm fine. All right, buddy. Is there any point even starting this thing today? We shall see. Let's put my nose through. And the men. I have something to talk to you. Uh, it might possibly wait until it's a little bit. Um, Close your eyes. Oh, I don't like where this is going. Mm, you will. <laughs> Hold out your hands and splay your fingers. You're gonna feel your gloves come off. Uh. Don't fucking look. I'm going to look. <laughs> they tend to flock together. Can I open my eyes now? You will feel... Yep, and you will feel new gloves. Hmm. They'll suit you just the same. You again? Oh. Hmm. Yes. I see that we have another... <clears throat> Yeah, thought I might as well ask before I head back up with my notes. Do you own a crossbow? Uh, yes. Why? Where were you last night, might I ask? She was with me up on the roof. Mm. We were, um, having some intimate moments. <laughs> Disgusting. <sighs> Do you know of anybody that wore a black hood with their face masked at all that wields a crossbow? You mean like 70% of the population in this province, or...? What is it with your town? So he's one thing after the other, isn't it? I told you we should speak with the leather worker. Thank you. We've sold the masks to her recently. A little hmm. different to my usual ones, but. I hope you like them. I could get used to them. I got oh. some too. <gasps> I have two pairs. Are we matching? And you're gonna die. Oh, I think they're amazing. Um, not really. Mine are white. Oh, okay. They are the same <clears throat> type, I guess. Spider silk. Very or... resilient. Mhm. Mm very nice. Thank you. Yes, That's very kind. I of you. also got. <clears throat> she 
she like pulls out a piece of black hood from her bag. <laughs> and then my gloves. Wow. To match this outfit. We could like yin yang. Mm. Hang on. <gasps> Do that. Yeah, there we go. Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> what are you two I like them. About? We have gloves, mine are black and hers are white, and we were like yin yang. Oh, I see. Yeah. Seems <laughs> <Cute. clears throat> <sighs> like everyone's up this morning. You and I should talk, I guess. Good morning. Uh oh. <laughs> what does that mean? You're in trouble. You're Come talking on. to me? Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, not on me. Okay. Not even in the good way, either. Hi, Sif. Good morning. Oh, Sif. Do have fun. And uh, Clifford. <laughs> Do you need something, or are you just checking in? No, I was just checking in. I mean, if Tazim is in, I need to talk to him. It's important. He just left for Belerno. Very important. I'll let him know when he gets back. Damn. Oh. Okay. Thank you. He's coming back. Good. <clears throat> what did you do? Don't fucking look at me like that. What did you do? I did a job for the matron. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> and I assume this is why they're looking for I what I assume to be you. Yes, I have to fucking get rid of that outfit now. Luckily, I just got my leathers from Torty, so... Mm. Those should be done, um, unstinkifying in a few days. They look fucking amazing, and they're not black. Good. So... So what did this matron have you do, exactly? Yes. You cannot tell Vesrin. And I will tell you everything. You have to promise. You cannot tell Vesserin. I don't care if you tell your father and he tells Vesserin, but not from you. Okay. I was tasked to get rid of a few high elves that were in Nottis. And Nottis proper. Ones that worked directly under that red-headed emissary. Who is also soon to die. Thanks to me. <clears throat> I know. Remember what I said about House of Cards? I wish I could explain it to you. But... I do have a plan. I just have to execute it with absolute precision. But the issue is, so do we. And if we're crossing paths with our plans, then we're going to fuck each other up, aren't we? We got to work together on this. Need I remind you, your father is the one that told me to work for this woman. I know. I see the issue here. You need to do these things. You're the only person that can get in with Not her. for very much longer. And I know this was bad, trust me. <clears throat> you think I risked you guys? I nearly died last night. I didn't have any help. I didn't want to involve any of you. Because I knew it would cross the paths. This, I believe, won't do as much damage as you think it will. That emissary, <clears throat> he is a problem for us. Is a problem for Vesrin. Eshma is a problem for Vesrin. If we remove them from the power scale and imbalance it, the Imperials and the Robber Baron are going to eat each other alive, <coughs> and all that leaves is Notus. I plan to pin them against each other well. in the woods. We do need to deal with these elves so that, ideally, Vezrin can get people sympathetic to his family in here. 
and that will help us. So I suppose we can capitalize on this. Yes, the matron plans to assassinate that emissary. We will see if I help her or not, then I will have more details, but... I meet with her tonight to collect my reward, and... <clears throat> On top of that, I have not yet been able to sit down with you and your father and talk about this, but hopefully you can give some insight. This favor you wanted? I already... Yes. Yes. I don't know what to do with it. I could use it to help you inste instead, you and your father. That would be ideal. The question is what, though? Do you know what your father wants? Is there someone that needs capturing? I have an entire retinue of drow basically under my control at this point. Well, he should be back any minute now, so you can ask him. <clears throat> Our main goal right now is establishing him as a noble in this province. That way we can turn back the Imperial ships that are showing up. I'm worried that because of this attack on the embassy, or the embassy they're going to send in reinforcements from the other embassies through Gradio, which will only boast of the Imperial presence here. And so the your elves will probably you. do the same. <clears throat> yes. I understand that the elves will probably come back in force, but I trust the matron to know what she's doing. If they do come back in up force, that would tie up the drow, I suppose. Hmm. I don't th think so. The drow are ahead right now. The only one ahead of them is the Robber Baron, because they are currently occupying that fucking cave. She has a plan. I just don't know it yet, but I might know more tonight. That's what I'm Hopefully worried about. Hopefully I can catch you before you go to bed. I don't want her to be... ...using you, and then discard you at the end before we can reap the benefits of this. I'm too useful to her. <clears throat> For now. If anything, I'm using her. Hmm. Kylo, I've done all of this by myself thus far. These people have died in miraculous ways. Without me even taking one of her men with me. I snuck past dozens of high elven rangers and murdered their commander. I just snuck into an imperial... I'll get that later. I just snuck into an Imperial Embassy. I am an asset to her, not a toy. We'll push that as far as we can then. <laughs> I worry about it because you are doing we this alone, to. Sarah. I know. I can tell you're worried. You're not doubting me, but... This is my game. This is what I do. Do you feel like you're on top of it? Not yet. <laughs> mm. But it gets clearer and clearer every time I take a step forward. Once I know her motive, everything's going to change. Okay. The only advantage I have on her right now is that she doesn't know who I am. I think. She has a lust for her job. For killing. For appeasing the matriarch. That is all I can really see at the moment. I plan to dig deeper. And then rip the rug out from under her, if I can. Her men will be useful. Or they will die. Alright. 
What about you? Where have you been? Sleeping? I've been exhausted. <gasps> <clears throat> I have amazing news. Wait. So that blonde. Or Lena. Yes. We made headway yesterday. Oh, really? She said she respected me. I figured and she I would. said the same. You two both. I think she's all right. Respect strong women. So it's natural that you would respect mm. each other. She's kind of shy. I thought it was just her being angry, but she's not she's a people person. Shy. She will run away from crowds. Not a fan. We should invite her around more often, regardless. That can be beaten out <clears throat> of a person. I remember someone very similar, actually. She was born in Imperial-occupied Gwyn. She didn't have friends growing up, so she doesn't know how to do any of that. She prefers books and tea mm. and everything. <clears throat> Which, you know. <laughs> tea. Such a strange... Marcus says the same thing. We should have some tea together. That um, conversation you guys had last no, the other night with uh, Marcus was good. Oh. It's hard. Because he is everything that I am not. Yeah. He hopes the person that broke into the embassy gets found and <clears throat> justice served. We come from two completely different sides of the fucking coin, and I know I don't have to like him, but he scares me. We have to believe that he can do good things and become a great man, because if he can't, then when we go to Giwen, won't be able to trust anyone. Every Imperial will have to. We need to have the hope that they can change and evolve. And Marcus is... I'm going to buy you so many pieces of spider silk <laughs> to cover every inch <clears throat> of your body before you go there. <laughs> I'd love a hood, honestly. Right now I just have this... You want this one? Is it spider silk? Mm -hmm. Only if you're not using it. Not yet. I'll find another one. Get yourself something first. I'm working on some stuff. Hopefully. I, I bought my gloves. <laughs> I won't say no, Sarah, but I don't want to deprive you of anything, especially if you're going at all of this alone. Let me have a free trial for just tonight, just do, to see if I get my head thing. cut off or not. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm um, actually working on getting myself a set of that elven armor, the ranger armor. It's plate, but it moves silently, like mm -hmm. leather. If I can pull that off, then... Wow. Yeah. <clears throat> when That's I was really cool. doing my thing with Marcelo, the head elven ranger, watching him move was crazy in plate you shouldn't be able to anyway <clears throat> I'm fanboying um, <laughs> I just wanted to check in with you and you know make sure you're doing okay we are definitely um, out of the frying pan and into the fire but I think we're going to be alright thank you for checking in of course Exactly how many, um, Imperials and guards are walking around? I've seen that one group going around investigating, <clears throat> but I can assume there's definitely more. I need to stop having meetings. I've got to go burn that outfit. In this fucking <laughs> house, because everyone shows up. Let me know if I can do anything, okay? True. Um, 
Yeah, I will. Same to you. I'm gonna go walk around. Sure. Well, how can I help? Oh, well, never mind. Right. You're right. Let, let, let. Looking There's, for the same. Uh, Morden in there. No. Straight back. Straight back. Have you tried his place? Thank you. Either way. We just did. Mm. Nope. Never mind. Sorry to keep you busy. No worries. Um, I nearly fucking stepped on you. Oh, your pants got caught on the fucking. Oh, hi. Yes, yes. Okay. I knocked on a door. I'm not sure if you heard it. Yeah. Uh, I have some things I need to let you know on. <laughs> some wood around the dock and something I saw this morning. Lead us to the car. Go on. Um. So, word around the dock. Uh, I feel like you should know so you can let Tazim know. Is uh, apparently Kovaz is thinking of doing something big soon. Big, like some sort of offensive. I don't know. Some that's no one really knows. Just some sort of offensive. He's like gathering mercs or maybe guards. And uh, another thing, um, when I was out going earlier today, I might need to place my trident order a bit earlier. There's this big something in the water i don't know what it was it looked almost as big as a boat some sort of shadow Fucking great like colossal thing yeah be careful oh it was uh it was kind of scary ladia everyone and seems Squiffer to have seen looking it. for you you're an imperial for me clifford Bye. ladia you were looking for me but uh for that trident order um uh, is there a way i could put that in earlier and pay you uh once it's done i have seven silver we have no iron right now to make anything I know you oh, okay yeah i've um, barely right. even got the forge up to proper heat because i doubt we're even going to be able to forge anything to do because we're fucking out of iron i see so well, if you're getting iron, uh, I could put in an order. I know you probably want to put that iron somewhere else, but yeah, something to keep in mind. I almost got all the money for it. Been saving up. Hang on to it for now. Once we get iron, we'll figure something out. All right. Well, I trust you enough. Do you want the money? No. So Give it to me when you put the order in. Otherwise, I'm gonna fucking scream. More than likely, buy time for some of the mercs to reattach the policy. <laughs> the old banker Severick. Mm -hmm. Will probably be safe behind us horrible memories with these orders. yeah <laughs> i've had people coming in can i do half an order now and pay half now but then also take away the material costs oh, while like while you do it and i'm just like you fucks I figure she Again, if you wishes to join us. by the way she well, to help with the uh could you teach me more on uh making stuff with the trident uh, sure, I can show you how we make tridents. Most I've been able to do is help with sharpening with things, and I mean, you That's haven't you really start. had me to make anything recently. You're Neil, you're Whitesmith. Yeah, I've been sharpening. Hey. Honestly, at this rate, uh, what was, um, what did Raylan do? She did, uh, something like wild crafting, wild crafting. <clears throat> things. I think I might be able to do something with that, and maybe do that with, like, metal. Hmm. That is what a Whitesmith does. Perfect. Maybe that's what I'll become. Hello. Oh, more than you too. Um, in the next couple days, I'm getting a group together to go out and kill some orcs. I'm wondering if you wish to come with us. Yeah, I like killing orcs. I'm already a bit ahead of you in that regard. Ah, oh, perfect. I knew you'd say yes, so I really didn't have to ask you, but I wanted to ask Sharik. Uh, we'll definitely be going after a general or the forge itself if we can get enough people. I'm hoping for 12, including myself. Oh, you have my uh, uh, I intend to be going out today due to... There is a Dawi that I need to find. And a caravan that was attacked by orcs that is in the northern side nearest the 
forest north of the Cross Keys Inn, there is a high chance that we're going to encounter a large amount of orcs. I don't think I'll be very useful in my state right now, but if you should need my axe, it's yours. Appreciate I'll be gathering however I can at the time, because I'm trying to save a Dowie that was wronged by my clan. I need to see it right. I intended to bring as many of my kinsmen as will come with me, but I don't know how many I'll be able to gather at that time. The mercenaries will also be accompanying us for their own means. We have multiple objectives, the first one being secure and basically gather and secure the supplies that have been left by the orcs at the caravan site, attach the horses so that they can retrieve those. Okay, uh, real quick, anyone that's not doing blacksmith stuff, do you mind so I can do my business? Yes. Thank you. Yeah. <clears throat> But yeah, if you, uh, I'm down to help learn a bit more to help around more, because I know you guys are always busy, and I hate to see when you're all injured and stuff. Oh, oh. Find the caravan, find survivors, and, uh, survivors, put them in the carts, get the carts attached to horses, bring them home. That's their goal. My goal is to find the hey. dowie that is missing. How's that steel looking? He is my objective, so I may end up staying longer than that. That's steel? Remind me, it's been a long time yeah. in my head. How many people do you I have see. going right. with you right now? If I remember correctly, like I said, I we should have two steel bars. Transported enough supplies, yes, yes to make we, two steel bars. We have I've two steel bars. The aid of the brewmaster and his wife. Yes. Yeah. Those will be used to repair this. Okay. And this. Okay. Yeah, let me know what I need to do and. As... Yes, once. Once Mr. Ziegler is up and around, should be able to come by, grab the steel, and. Whoa! I don't know what I was supposed to do with the dog. That's fair. Uh, yeah. Faces being lit. That's what you need to do. Um, yeah, if Ziegler wants to come in, he can do the, uh, the hard work and I can melt it all down and whatever you. if you direct me. I can Make it prepared. It. Sure. <clears throat> Yeah. Hmm. I should be around today. Got it. I'll get you up and running again, buddy. Don't worry. Don't get yourself killed, Morden. Yeah, apparently there was a lot of stuff below the armor that I didn't know about either. So I'm trying to figure it out. I that out myself. Hmm. There's a lot about me that I don't know. I like it, man of mystery. Are you a mystery to yourself? Yeah, actually. We may have to go into the cracks to save him if they drug him away, though. This isn't even my real accent. Maybe we'll be able to kill two birds with one. Oh, really, man? What? Kill two orcs. What's your real one? That's a secret. If I'm lucky, he might have been able to find the way. This isn't even my real voice. Not sure. I either may be bringing back a live Dawei or be bringing back a corpse. I do not know which. I normally don't. Com I normally don't communicate the way that I usually do because nobody's able to understand it. Learn to common the, in order to actually wall noises that you make sometimes. I will not become an oath breaker, regardless. No, of that's just me yelling. Oh. Hmm. I mean. If ever we're alone at some point, I can tell, I can speak to you in the way that I usually did. Noon-ish is what I've been told. Go on. By the gods above. Right. Uh, what? Go on, speak to me. I, you, we would normally. Once I, I know, you'll know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go get some work orders done. <clears throat> you can also have okay then. Right there. Hmm. Yeah. Yep. What the fuck? Ah. He's speaking his native language. I see. I learned common to make people understand me. <clears throat> Amazing. It used to be just be a whole bunch of metallic clanging noises and beeps like that. Slow. Wow. One more person. Wow. it was Anyhow, continue on with your business. Will do. Really you. Oh, that's right. 
All what right. is the timetable yes, in which you would require this arm assistance? Well, actually, no, that might be too soon. As soon as we can possibly get it done, but I still need the wood for the bow. So, while I need it as soon as we can get it done, I can't use it until I get the bow, and I don't know when that will be. Hopefully soon. Okay. <coughs> well then, in... Oh, uh, I'm gonna go let Tori know the thing that I saw in the water as well, because I feel like she should know. And uh, we can talk more. Uh, let me know if you do get iron, but if others need it first, let them get it first. Yeah, I'll add you to the long list. <coughs> I would say metal, but it's a common metal. Okay, good, Tori now. Available. Uh, I, I can find a source of iron wood that has so. as enough iron wood left Armature over. Iron. After making the bow, I can give it to you, but uh, then I won't have the device for the bow. You might check with Morden to see if he has any iron or steel. If not, I can I'll at least provide a bar for melting Here. down a dagger. Here's 40. I'll take two. Hopefully I'll bar, figure out right. what materials are capable <coughs> of actually making this. Then I'll get back to you. About Having a good morning? I just assume that right. will be so one of those. Wood, I can provide that. Just got back. Yes. Hmm? That doesn't answer my question. Right away. I suppose... Oh, what do you mean? <coughs> Are you having a good morning? Yeah. Uh, yes. yes. Great. Good. So far. Okay. Cool. If I find out the water worked, I'll be even happier. Actually, at some point, I want to take up Rondel training again, if you wouldn't mind. I understand that. Yeah. I could definitely. Okay. Come to me when you're comfortable. We never did complete our final lesson. We didn't. Two years ago. So I like to pick up. So yeah. With you on back Come to me when you're comfortable, and I'll see what I can do. Man, my fucking uh, likes weird. Not be happy when I go to my field. <laughs> <laughs> Should we go have a look? Like the water might not have worked. Oh, should we just avoid it completely? <coughs> okay. You have a good day then. Let me know if I can help you with anything. Venora might need something from you, just in case you're about to leave. <laughs> I, I understand. Move on. <laughs> Proceed. <coughs> yes, exactly. So. Thank you, Samus. Right. No problem. And if anything, I'd be here for when you all come back. Four. Melt down the helmet is about one or two. Melt down the leggings, it's about three. And melt down the bracers is one. The problem is, you still need to get yourself combat boots and combat gloves. That's something you have to get yourself. Yeah, from the leather worker, right? Alright. Having steel instead of iron means you're going to need to have... ...material for it. You need to have gloves and... <clears throat> Going on a medical expedition. Ah, this is the colorful blacksmith that I met on my first day. How does it go? Yeah, it'd be better if I could get some fucking food. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Is that um? thing you were speaking about 
forgive me if I pride, uh, of someone who I have a soft spot for was among the crowd, and I was curious because he was been a bit of a scuffle a few days ago. Does this, um... <clears throat> this orc thing, how recent is it going to be happening? I have no idea. You'd have to ask them. <clears throat> Fair enough. Looking to get your hands dirty. I do not show up. Do take Claire Clifford. No. Well, after what I've heard with Orbom, apparently his supply is getting attacked on Z Road by Orcs himself. I'm a bit, uh, as you could say in the common tongue, absolutely fucking pissed. So, <clears throat> thought I might put my uh, courier expertise, jack of all trades expertise to use, no? Sure. Go ahead and ask either. I've done a short fuse with these fucking things myself. Sif or, uh, Morden. Sure, we could use more swords. Ah, I see. <clears throat> but of course, but if, uh, only if you call upon me. Mm -hmm. I would not, uh, interject myself so forcefully. I'll let them know. I don't suppose we ever properly introduced. <laughs> Forgive me, it's not to like me that I, uh, leave such a, uh, stale first impression. Uh, je m'appelle Lafayette. Je m'appelle. At your service. Sharik. Lafayette. Uh, it's a... Je m'appelle. It's uh, my name. It's a Western Guardian term. I see. It's a regional dialect, you see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just Lafayette is fine. Lafayette. Um, Sharik. A pleasure, Sharik. I then think I probably thanked you for sharpening my blade a few days ago. Yeah. All part of the job. I suppose. But of course. Since we can't make anything anymore Should because be we don't have not. any iron, sharpening is pretty much all I can do right now. Really? Yeah. That is still a problem, huh? Yeah. Everyone's getting a bit bad. All the more reason to assist, no? Hopefully. I, uh, I do have to discuss it over with someone, possibly Orban, but uh, if I am uh, allowed to go, uh, you'll be seeing me nearby as an option. Very good. Well, I'm going to see if I can track down some food, since it's a fucking ghost town here. You I'll, have I'll a good tell day. Obon he has a line. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> have a good day. Avo de course, Sharik. Until we meet again, monsieur. Fixing things. Like me. You know what? Why don't we discuss it at your shop? Business going right. on and such. I hope it's going to be fine. Certainly things you need. <laughs> yeah. We can only hope. I'm also, once uh, Shriek gets the iron for it, I hopefully can get the trident soon, which I can use to help you guys with the adventures of the big beast hunt of Nautica. How <laughs> <sighs> oh, right. sure this bound be? Oh. Shriek, are you stealing my spear? Yeah, he no. just took it and walked away. <laughs> you he also took the knife. I have my spear. I just witnessed a theft. Thief! Thief! Oh. My spear! <laughs> I'm holding you up, idiot. Oh god. <laughs> oh, well, thank you. Okay, are, they, are, they are they in their oh, underwear? Oh, fun man. Hi. What do you see? Are you peeping? I don't think so. What do you see? I see Tori smiling at me. Oh. And then, uh... I don't see much else. I yeah. just see Tori smiling. That's fucking I think disappointing. I've been compromised. Lower me down. <laughs> <laughs> what? You want me to show off my tits? No. Oh my god. You are way too easy to do that. You need to stop. <laughs> you and your fucking Velcro pants. I swear to god. The fuck? <laughs> yeah. You, she can get so naked so fucking quickly, it's stupid. It's like a fucking snap of the fingers. I've never seen that before in my life. <clears throat> it's not something I need to know. What do you do? What do you... Stop that. Why? Erase it from your mind. Yeah, just delete it. I'd love to, it's but it's burned mind. in there. It's no, it's burned. not. I can't unsee the piercings. Brother, you fucked you. Don't you have like the oh my god. Wait, I'm, I'm here for you. Oh. Shriek. Make time for yourself. It's awful, huh? In the evening, please. I, I can talk. fight you, sure. It's fucking awful. Yeah, you would see she's covered in bandages. It's fucking awful? 
on the head, the, the left fuck? ear, lower abdomen, and uh, her uh, entire left leg. That's my smart button. Not until marriage. What happened to you? Well, if someone's a prude. Crazy the murder happy. <laughs> I don't think that out. that way. Let's back to Get me. out. Fine, all right. But, you lost four uh, for You're a crazy murder hungry. Yeah, oh. 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 <gasps> no, 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 not me. Find you later. It was another person. Oh, okay. Let's see. Uh, hey, you're okay? Bro, I'm so sorry. Somehow. Hi. Hey. Yes. How you doing? Hold on. I'm Bitch. not angry anymore. I'm glad oh. to hear that, at least. <laughs> The door slams hey. shut right in Severick's face. Oh, okay. You see Kyler <laughs> turn to look back at you with a deadpan stare. Oh, Cordy's dead. Deep. <laughs> morning. Apparently she can what? like drink it. So morning. Biz running around today? Did you need any leather work? Become naked. Nah. Sorry, say again? Biz running around today? It's just not a good... It's a scary... Ah, uh, yes, he is. I actually have... Uh, yeah, there's a lot of hides in there, and also some glues. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> I knew that one oh, no. <laughs> but yeah, huh. Vez runs around, uh, though I will be, um, making sure he's occupied around, uh, <coughs> afternoon, or not noon, okay. uh, the, the, the evening. So if you need them, do stuff with them before then, yeah? Got it. I can do that. Well, mm -hmm. Whatever talent you got, I guess. <laughs> Is this your pee bucket? It's the horse pee bucket. <sighs> um, Hopper, I'm not sure if you. What are you doing? What what the... No, 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 no! Oh no! Um, <laughs> big thing in the water today. <laughs> See you, Toti. Like fuck oh. off, thing in the water. Like it's bigger than a tuna. Is it? I was planning on giving that back to you, but well, it, it's bigger than a boat, so if there's a tuna as big as a boat, I think we got problems. But anything as big as a boat. I know how to do guard duty. Usually it's a whole bunch of keeping monitoring around, making sure that everything is cordial, just fine. No funny business happens and nobody tries to break in into the doors, windows, whether they grab coins. How you doing? <clears throat> Good, just had a conversation with um Lodia, Aegon, Sif. Oh yeah. And Hermie. <clears throat> to Hermie today. Oh yeah? Yep. What's new? Mm -hmm. Uh not much. He's taken on a manager's position in his job. And yeah. Now I'm just kinda waiting for Vesseran to come back from wherever he is and have a talk with him. Fair enough. I need to talk with him today as well, actually. <gasps> He's alive! He's alive! Why wouldn't I be? <clears throat> you went to Belano. I don't know. Do you know how many weird people go to Belano? <laughs> Lots. Shriek, get your armor on. Oh, Sound I thought you were shushing me. <clears throat> <gasps> Can I watch? I won't interrupt, I promise. I'll be quiet. Sure.
Nope. What do you need? I freaking say, don't make me talk to your father. I've been waiting weeks for this moment. I don't want to miss it. I'm going to bring you a box. <laughs> I'm going to bring you a box of ore. Okay. Mm -hmm. Whenever you have the time, I mm -hmm. just want them to come be melted down into ingots. And how many, for the labor, how okay? many ores? Uh, 20, so it'll be melted down into 5 ingots. Okay? You can do that. Drop it off and I'll get to work. Uh, <coughs> Alright, I'll let you get to your father. <laughs> Alright, we can go. Hmm? Okay. Right. Get your armor on. Do you have your cup on? I didn't think I'd need it. Go put it on. <sighs> I'll need the extra hands, Sarah. Uh, yeah. Uh, here it is. <sighs> I can throw it on if you want. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm in really good spirits. Yeah, so there's a special not <laughs> Oh, okay. You sure I need what? all of it on? The whole it's cup? It's Vanessa's birthday today! Did you two know that? <laughs> oh, well, put that on. The old me. telescopic cup. Yeah, I have something planned, so I'm taking away. I'm taking them away on evening. Okay. Yeah, so if you need them, oh. find them today before then. Because oh, yeah. then I'm going to go on what a little doing? boat ride. <clears throat> boat ride to cool place. All right. I didn't tell him anything about it, so he You're going to, to shut up get and your horse me. <laughs> and meet me outside where we did your laps Hi. by the farm outside Got Daniel's oh, yeah. house. Okay, so who's? Mm -hmm. Okay. Go fuck That'll yourself. Be a lot I'm go watch that training. Nar. Okay, have fun. Oh. Have fun. Don't I'm worry, gonna look around the merchants. Is there any food? Food people? Where's that fucking no, button? No. There right. it is. Uh, How's your day? I have to go take care of something and then I'll be around town. Have fun! Have fun, don't work too hard. Sure. Try not to, at least. The fuck happened? You can do it. Complete your training so you can name your horse a mediocre name. But it didn't drive. It's better than fucking Charlie. <laughs> what kind of brain dead fucking no, moron okay. names their horse Charlie? First of all, happy birthday. Thank you. But Why the fuck doesn't the reset thing work anymore? That's stupid. So, what has changed is that 
everyone, it, it was a bug that they've finally got to. So now you just have to take locomotion off of your avatar. Sweet fucking god, okay. Yeah. Great fix, right? Let me change the settings to... It didn't work. This sucks. I see. That's me. This one's gonna finish learning how to use a horse properly. Be sure start? to shift your weight and not fall off. How would you know that, Tang? <laughs> He's ridden many a horses <clears throat> directly into the ground. I still remember when he tried to pet that deer at Ledford and crushed his fucking, fucking skull, yeah. Good deer. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a fucking juice. I, well, I heard Faye was. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, that wasn't Faye, that was, um. That wood elf. What was his name? No, elf. I don't remember his name. Real bug eyed bastard. Didn't look like he belonged in the setting. I don't remember his name. Hmm. <laughs> Don't laugh, that's not nice. <laughs> Locomotion animation off. Fix me. No, it has to be taken off your avatar. What the fuck? Be an option. That's d <laughs> gonna. <laughs> yes. Yeah, sure. Yeah, you'll never be able to move without doing that. Amazing. Trust me, I'm not happy about it either. I'm really just annoying. practicing how I could do swings better by like okay. standing up a little bit, and then I can't do it anymore. <clears throat> but now, now you won't be able to. Amazing. But it's all right. Come on. Shoo! Before you get stepped on. see yourself using a shield? No. Olena's been trying to teach me. I didn't think so. Yeah. It's not my kind of thing. <clears throat> so. This is what we're going to do. First, very simple. I'm gonna have you do full gallops. Unrestrained. <clears throat> right the entire area. Three times a charm. Once you're done with those gallops, and I feel you already, we're going to move out to the road and move on to our first exercise. I'm not going to go easy on you today, boy. Are you going to jump out at me? Go. <laughs> that was picking music! What do you want me to do? Go around? All the way around, don't be lazy. Here I go.
As you go galloping around, <clears throat> Sharik, um, you hear thuds behind you, and you crane your neck to look, and you see a Bjorning woman kind of thundering toward, towards you. It catches you off guard, and with a critical one, when you turn back around, uh, the horse whips to the side because you turn and you go tumbling into the wheat field. <laughs> Just as you come back. Tariq, are you That's okay? Only to dismount, I guess. <laughs> Good horse. Did you break anything? <sighs> no, otherwise I'll have to use that fucking potion again. It's fine, up and over. It'll happen. Get back on. Same thing, full speed. It was bound to happen. Yep. You were doing too well all your other training. Days. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. Go on, don't be so sad about it. Ooh. As you go galloping past Kyler, it's a lot different at full speed. The horse feels unrelenting as they continue to gallop forward. They do listen to your commands. With a six, it's hard to stay on top. You're trying to find that balance. Just above a critical failure, you manage to keep yourself on it, but you're having trouble finding the rhythm of max speed. You continue to fly by your father, trying again. <laughs> Of course, this is the fucking lesson that I don't roll three 19s. As you continue to pass by once more with a 15, it's starting to come to you a little better. You find yourself being able to find that rhythm, and while you're not perfect, it's definitely a lot easier than it was before. You find yourself able to rest your left hand on your lap and your right on the reins. You don't feel needing to just death grip the reins anymore. Ooh. There we go. <clears throat> Good boy. As you come in for the last lap, Sharik, you look at your father keeping his eyes on you. They don't look disapproving, they look narrowed. Almost as if he's judging your capability. It means a lot to you what the outcome is and what they think. You keep your posture flexible. You find the rhythm with the horse and with a natural 20, you gallop all the way over in front of the people who are watching and then bring the horse to a stop, slightly spinning with its ass towards the walls, looking at the others watching you. now do we <laughs> we're getting confident i need to make up for that embarrassment of a display earlier good boy <clears throat> it happens i have about as many old broken bones as i do whole falls from a horse do not be embarrassed feel embarrassed for the man who does it in full play and then can, can't get off his back out of mud <sighs> that's embarrassing now does it feel a little easier? It's different at... Does the control a little simpler? It's different at higher speed, but I think I'm getting the hang of it. Of course it is. The faster you go, the more that the horse wants to let loose. Hmm. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to use the road. Away from everybody else. I want you 
to be prepared to practice leaning from side to side in the saddle, down against the neck of the horse, far back, lumbar against the base of the saddle, and as far left and right as you can. You refuse to use a shield, so you best know your way around a spear when it comes your way. Go over to the road, I'll meet you shortly. Come on, boy. I am you, but better. Hmm? 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 Just talking to the horse. <clears throat> I used to be fucking I scared of them. I still am. They're really big and scary. Yeah, they can kill people. Leave the horse riding to you and your father. It's fine, you can ride in the back. <clears throat> How stupid does it look That'd when I nice. lean? Wee. <laughs> Wee. Thanks, VR chat. Um, you're not moving very much. Nope. But we'll <clears throat> figure it out. I'm sure they'll reverse that stupid shit. I fucking doubt it. That was one of the best features they ever accidentally added. Yep. Do you know how to stop, um, drifting? With the horse? Yeah, but I'm, uh, in my menu, so if I hold it down, it goes weird. Uh, okay. Watch it. Here he cometh. Oh, here he cometh. You two have fun. I give it my best. <clears throat> we'll try. We'll be on the road up always. We're not disappearing. Come on. It'd be such a cool shot when they're coming back. Now, I'm going to have you start down there with Sifis. You'll see me put my arm up. When I lower it, you're going to come charging. You are to stay in the middle of the road coming at me. I will have a quarterstaff trying to connect it with your body like a spear. Your job, since you won't use a shield, is to either lean to the left, the right, down low or back, whichever you think will work and avoid the spear that would otherwise kill you, using your horse's momentum against you. Got it. You understand? Yep. Get down there. 